So, Mike, when I said get us a hotel room in LA, I, I, I don't know if I meant this one. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna come out right and say it. Uh, I have no idea what to expect with uh, with this whole this whole area right here. Okay. So, I don't know. Right. This is not gonna be your average motel. <sighs> if it's like The Shining, I'm coming for you. I, I even have my Shining mask. I'm ready. Oh I'm ready God. for anything just weird and bizarre. Let's do this. We're gonna die. not the kind of hotel that I thought we'd be staying at. It's very uh, vintage, 60s. It's kind of retrofit. Like I literally feel like I just stepped back in time. Yeah, like look. <laughs> what is it? What? I don't know. This is not the Holiday Inn. Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.
child will be able to go into another dimension called El Sabino. You may also choose not to do any of those things. Every choice you make is a representation of who you are. But please feel free. Feel free. All right. <laughs> Definitely. And the, I, I was saying the photo ops for this place are 
So if you guys want some good photos, good video, come here because they're totally cool with it and it's kind of like meant for that, you know? It's definitely Instagram photo heaven. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, even like some of the rooms that don't have like heavy props, the lighting them itself is enough for those photos. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's There was one room that was completely pitch black, you guys saw it, and then like beams of light would come down and like that was hands down some of these best photos for this whole experience. And the thing I couldn't get was usually they have domes over that to project that sound down and they didn't. So I was a little intrigued on that technology. Well, and well, could you not see it? Maybe I couldn't see it. I couldn't, no, I'm just saying I, I couldn't. couldn't see it. So I, I didn't know. I looked up. There could very well have been domes, but it was such a dark room. It was. You don't know. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what, the mystery. That's the, <laughs> That's the madness of the madcap. <laughs> But I think this was a great time. I, I I would recommend it for sure. I would highly recommend it. It's about forty two dollars. Um, that is the average cost of an escape room experience, and we've spent about two hours here. So it is definitely more bang for your buck. Oh yeah, yeah. You could really like if you want to take your time and comb through everything and look at all the details, which I recommend you do because you are handsomely rewarded for it. You are. Yeah. Um, you can spend a good long time here. And not only do they have these weird quirky places, but they have actors interacting with you. Oh, so yeah. that's awesome. The character interactions here yeah. are fantastic. Everyone gives it their all. And they really like sell like sell like the belief that we are in another dimension. So is that a spoiler alert? Where are we? We're in where the We're in elsewhere. We're in the elsewhere. Mm -hmm. We're not somewhere, we're elsewhere. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Alright guys, so give this video a like, comment down below if you've been here to the Mad Cap or something close to it, and always be ready. Because you never know where your compass will take you. I found a piece of hedgy. Oh, peace offering. I don't know. Hedgy, here's a, here's a piece of you. I'm going to put it right here. There you go. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.